You see that movie right there? I like that movie more than I like myself. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World was directed by Edgar Wright and was released in 2010. Holy shit, it's already been seven years. Fun fact about this film, this was actually made right after Edgar Wright finished work on Shaun of the Dead, which is another one of his works that's very critically acclaimed. One of the first things you'll notice about this film is that it is very, very nerdy. And it wants you to know that. It wants that to be engraved into your brain. I mean, look at the Universal Pictures intro. This is something that I feel that works really well with this film though, as at the time, we hadn't really seen anything that was so in your face about the fact that it was based off of a comic. The original comic for Scott Pilgrim ran from the year 2004 to 2010, which was the year that the film came out. Pretty cool. The film stars Michael Cera as Scott Pilgrim and Mary Elizabeth Winstead as Ramona Flowers, his love interest. The plot goes a little something like this. Not so long ago, in the mysterious land, of Toronto, Canada. Scott Pilgrim was dating a high schooler. Scott Pilgrim is dating a high schooler? Uh, Scott Pilgrim? Hi, I was thinking about asking you out, but then I realized how stupid that would be. So do you want to go out sometime? My name is Matthew Patel, and I'm Ramona's first evil ex-boyfriend. For what? Anyone need another drink? That made sense, right? What do you mean it didn't? The film doesn't take itself seriously, and it doesn't expect you to either, as it's full of that very charming Edgar Wright humor that's very present in films like Shaun of the Dead. And I would say that in this film, I think it's taken to an extreme that he hasn't done since. Like, legit, every single line in this movie is funny. Like, almost every single line in this movie will make you laugh. It's that well written. Well Amazon.ca, what's the website for that? Amazon.ca. If we win, it won't just be knives wearing sex but bomb shirts. It'll be the cool kids, too. If you want something bad, you have to fight for it. Step up your game, Scott. Break out the L word. Lesbian? The other L word. Lesbians? One of the main things I really have to emphasize and gush about in this film is its pacing. This film is fast. The editing is fast, the dialogue is fast, and the information given to you is presented very fast. Hello. It's Scott. What did he do this time? No, it's Scott. It's actually me. What did you do this time? I didn't do anything. It's everyone else that's crazy. Look, I'm having a meltdown or whatever. Are you still working? I'm literally about to leave. Cool, I'm coming in. I think I'll make it a decaf today. Stop, Pilgrim! What did you do with my sister? However, it's still presented in a way that's so clear and you can understand what's going on even though there's so much being thrown at you at every single moment. There is practically never a point in this film where you aren't being given new information. And I feel like this is another one of those things that really comes back to the comic book element of the film in the sense that you can fit so much information into a single panel from a comic. And it's the same with this film. They put so much information into such a short period of time, such a small window as like a frame or a panel in a comic. But it works so well in this environment. The actors do a great job with the pacing and the editors did a fantastic job. This is the film that made me decide to become an editor. Huge props to Jonathan Amos and Paul Maklis. They are editors that have worked with Edgar Wright on a lot of his films, including Baby Driver. Unfortunately, the film did kinda not great. And by kinda not great, I mean really bad. The budget for this film was 85 million US dollars and they only made 47.7 million at the box office. That's like half. It wasn't because people didn't like the film either. It has an 82% on Rotten Tomatoes and a 7.5 out of 10 on IMDb. So how can you have a film that's this well received but that did so poorly in the box office. Well, I think it comes down to the fact that it was appealing to a very niche market. It was based off of a comic that most people hadn't heard of, its editing style was very, very aggressive, it was really fast paced, and for some people it may be too much. It was a feature length film at nearly two hours, 
and the video game themes were heavy, and I would say that the majority of people aren't interested in that kind of thing. It really is a shame that it did so poorly financially, because it's my favorite film ever. I watch this film all the time, and it's my inspiration for becoming an editor. This will probably be my favorite film forever, or until they make Scott Pilgrim 2, which will never happen. So it's my favorite film forever.